April 2020, a month after the University of Florida women's basketball team's 2019-2020 season ended right before the coronavirus pandemic that would cause all sports to go on pause, which is exactly why I'm here at home in Boca Raton, Florida, and not in the Stephen C. O'Connell Center where the team plays. Right before this break, the Gators had finished a season filled with ups and downs. The UF women's basketball team began the season different from the previous few seasons. Packed with new faces and rejuvenated confidence, the Gators started 4-0, their best start since the 2016-2017 season. Freshman guard Lavender Briggs averaged 13 points per game in the first four games, just behind veteran guard Kiki Smith, who averaged 14.4 points. During the win streak, the team averaged almost 15 assists per game with strong post play by redshirt senior Zeta Williams and freshman Faith Dutt. Gator head coach Cameron Neubauer expressed his feelings about the new team and the mentality going forward. We've got a young bunch, you know, um, the mentality, it changes your mentality of, you know, that's my guy, I'm going to battle with them, we're going to compete together now, we're down one, you know, so there's a lot of different implications that can affect your team, with, but we really talked about, hey, we're enough with what we have, it's part of the game, just got to go play. Knowing they were about to play a few ranked opponents, Coach Cam and his squad attempted to use that mindset for the next part of their season. Did the impressive hot start continue for the Gators? That was the question as Florida prepared for state rivals, ranked teams, and tournaments. Ranked 12th at the time, Florida State drove down to Gainesville to battle. The Gators registered a tough 66-55 loss, but five days later got their swagger back, dominating Florida a by over 40 points. The Gators also played in a few tournaments, taking a win and a loss in each, but their biggest challenge during this strip of games was against number 18 ranked Indiana. With sharp moves, excellent ball movement, and 23 points by leader Grace Berger, the Hoosiers defeated the Gators in Gainesville 73-49. Our heads up and work to get better and improve for the duration of our season, and I know that's what these young ladies will do. Team leader Kiki Smith also dove into what the team needed to do to get back on track. And just to come out here and play exactly how we practice, play how we know play how we like to play, play how we know how to play. It's just a matter of getting everybody to get confidence. I mean, once our team at their all-time full confidence level is probably the best. With a 9-4 overall record and with already one more win on the calm than all last season, the squad would try to keep the pace as they headed into SEC play. Bring in a new year and bring in SEC play. Florida began the 2020 season with SEC competition that would see them notch some L's, but also some W's. The squad started 2020 with a big loss to Mississippi State, but redeemed itself with two consecutive wins against Vanderbilt and Auburn. Kiki Smith acknowledged the switch. First SEC game, it was a learning experience, you know. After that, we came, we came, we came in practice and we just talked about exactly what we needed to do, how we needed to work on, like the little things, and then tonight we capitalized on all those little things. Those two wins were then followed by two losses, including against number 14th ranked Kentucky. Freshman sharpshooter Briley Bartram touched on what the losses meant to the team. Um, we're a team that plays together, and we're a team that, that doesn't give up. And, um, you know, like you said, win-loss, it doesn't really matter because we're playing together and we're getting better. It was a rough start to SEC play for the Gators, but the team could still turn things around. With six SEC games under their belt and only two victories, UF women's basketball was looking for more W's in the column, and with more than half the season over, the Gators wanted to finish the season out strong. The SEC woes continued, first at Arkansas, where the Razorbacks dominated the Gators 79-57, and then in Gainesville, where LSU guard Kayla Pointer scored 24 points to give the Tigers an 11-point victory. Replicated what we've been doing all year, we just keep trying to focus and, and keep our effort where it needs to be. We did better rebounding the second half, but to start the game off, we did really bad, so just making sure we're hitting and carving out and giving, not giving them any other chances to put points on the board. The attention to detail helped Florida defeat number 13 ranked Kentucky, but the Gators at home then let the Georgia Bulldogs slip away 49-43. Now 12 and 11 themselves, the Gators had to step up if they wanted to finish the season with a positive record.
The season was winding down, and with just a few games to go, UF women's basketball team still had some challenging teams to face, including games that will push them to the last second. The Gators beat Ole Miss 74-72 and started a winning streak of their own with the second win at Missouri. Then, Florida went down again against Alabama and Tuscaloosa. Back at home, the Gators then beat Arkansas 83-80 thanks to Kiki Smith's career-high 26 points. Honestly, just having an aggressive mindset. I mean, just being in the gym this past week, I knew in order for us to pull off this dub, I needed to put the ball in the basket a lot more. So just being in the gym, holding my follow through, and just uh, trusting my training with everything that I did tonight. You just have to show up and compete every possession one at a time. That was the biggest thing we talked about today is competing every possession, no matter what happened the last one. And that's tough to do it, but we, we did it. And that's why I'm, I'm saying I'm so proud from not flinching, because this is the one game where literally for 40 minutes we didn't flinch and just kept our foot down and um, just played hard and played together. The win against Arkansas ended up being the team's last of the season as they lost their last regular season game to Georgia in the second round of the SEC tournament to LSU. They ended their 2019-2020 campaign at 15-5 and 6-10. and, six and 10. Though the season didn't end exactly how the team wanted it to, they showed tons of improvement and for Coach Cam and the squad, it seems that like they're going to have a bright future ahead.